Greetings everyone, the Good Tonight here, and I have a sweaty squirrel print on my shirt. Just finished filming with the blade carrier on, and uh, yeah, apparently we sweat squirrels, so... Neato! Um, today we're doing a review on the Pig Full Dexterity uh, Gloves, yeah, so Pig. They've got a little picture of a boar on them, which is like a man pig, man bear pig. Neat! So they come with this cool little thing, this is Pig FTT Alpha. Full dexterity, tactical gloves, patented. And you got your little piggy here, you got your little piggy here. There's a few pigs going on here. So, what you got is, um, F and bar tact, paracord, pull loops, uh, karate chops to the face. As you can see, there's a lot of interesting, fun things going on here. They got kung fu grip on here, right? Yeah, there we go. Enhanced kung fu grip. That's more or less everything you really need to know about the gloves. We could technically stop the review right here. But we're not going to, so let us begin. So I'll take, um, I'll wear the right glove. Go over there, left glove. So as you can see, these gloves, they're incredibly soft for one. These are nice little shooting gloves. They got vented holes in them for sweat dissipation, allegedly. Uh, they say pig there. They got the 550 cord hard tack pull tab there. The back end here, you got these nice little bit of padding on the knuckles. Knuckle, knuckle packing, padding is always a good thing because, uh, Banging your knuckles open and causing damage to them is never a good idea. I think you can use smartphones with these too. I think that's part of the design. So let's pop this open real quick. Let's slide this on. These are very tight fitting gloves, which is a good thing in my opinion. Now, IRL, these are going to be great for shooting and running around and stuff. Airsoft wise, you're going to have a bit, um, a bit more uh, vulnerability due to the thin layer, but they're comfy. As you can see, we do have full dexterity. Things going on here, we can maneuver, we can touch our pinkies, fingers together. Yeah, isn't that neat? Look at my ability to concentrate on something for more than five seconds. Hey, So yeah, these are comfy gloves. So as you can see, there's the uh, vented slots here to give you the extra mobility. There's more on the trigger finger because that's kind of an important finger if you're going to be doing shooting drills. And there's some on the other fingers here, and there's a bit of extra padding comfort things. Let's see, does this actually work with a smartphone? Because usually when I have gloves on, I just use my nose because it's big and obnoxious and it works, but... Hey! Okay, so that works. We can use our phone, although our phone's starting to fall apart. It's time for a new one. But yeah, so we got our cool Gucci gloves on, so we got a cool Gucci glove on. So how does this compare to our previous use? Well, we were using the more or less standard mechanics setup. This is still incredibly popular with Marines because uh, you spend all of our money on alcohol and then we end up needing some type of field glove that doesn't suck, and we end up buying these because they sell them at the PX and they're already there, so why not? Am I right? I mean, feel free to dis disagree with me in the comments, but uh, you will be wrong. So these go on. These aren't as tight, so they actually slide on much easier, but they are heavier. They're a bit chunkier. This one's already, this one's seen a good deal of wear and tear, as you can see. I tried washing it and that didn't go over so well. But these are also, these are super cheap. These are like, what, 20 bucks? These are close to like 30, so how much does that $10, $15 really mean to you? Well, maybe a six pack or two of beer, and that's what the difference it makes is. So these got the cheaper pull tab on them, they got the little bit of elastic in the wrist. However, the big reason I was using these for airsoft is as you can see, there's this nice little plastic covering here, and when you're doing airsoft and not real bullets, really, these aren't going to protect you at all from real bullets, just a heads up. Um, don't expect these to stop very bad things from happening when you're doing tactical operation things. With this, you get smacked in the hand with a BB, that padding goes a long way. This probably gonna sting a wee bit more. Fortunately, haven't been shot in the hand with these on yet, but um, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Literally any fabric at all is going to help give you better protection against BBs, which is why I am a firm believer, we when we do play airsoft, it should be nothing more than a pair of silkies. But hey, again, feel free to d disagree, and once again, you will be wrong, so. These are comfy gloves. Uh, I mean, you can really only talk about gloves so often. That one of my favorite things about these, however, is they are doing the old-school classic Gen 1 Black on Tan. And that just fills me with happiness for reasons I cannot articulate, so. Cool! Neat! Really comfy. Actually, let's throw on this other one here, so. Actually, I haven't seen... Oh, this also has that super high-speed Velcro sort of setup, so it's really nice and clean. And that just, that makes me happy. I don't know why, it just does. Slide these ones on here. 
feel free to really take advantage of those tabs if you have a pair of these. Like, really pull them on. Don't worry about them, like, snapping or breaking or anything. Now we have two fully high dexterity gloves. We could karate chop faces, we could punch people, and we could cause all sorts of chaos, so. Ah, uh, there he is. Right there. So yeah, they got a nice grip to them. Big thing, gloves offer you a lot of things to consider with firearms, mostly if we didn't have these nifty rail covers here. These will help protect your fingers from the nubs. There are a few sharp, sharp edges on your weapon that you don't want your fingers getting smashed and beat up by, so a little bit of extra protection against everything is never really a bad thing. After all, you should always be wearing protection. And yeah, so we got a nice comfy grip. We're able to move around, we can swap our magazine. I'm really bad at this today. I went running and I haven't had, my coffee hasn't really hit yet and I'm just really kind of tired, so I wasn't even gonna cook today, but so let me throw this on here. I bet it works a bit better. If I have the sling out of the way, there we go. Yeah, so you can do cool things. Smack your gun, lock bolt back, bink. And we're gonna shoot the ghost. There's a ghost there, you can't see it, but I can. And yeah, now, it's still there, because it was unloaded. Yay, so, gloves are comfy, gun feels comfy. Smacking that doesn't hurt my hand as much. And uh, yeah, that's um, really all you need gloves for, so. I think we've taken a topic that could have been discussed in a two minute video and we've extended it to I don't know, I don't have a timer on this. But hey, much, much longer than it really needed to be. So, we got Donnie out of the way, how about Dolphin? You know, not like Donna as in a name, there is no one named Doff. Although if you find someone named Doffa as like her name, then that would be interesting. I don't think it's a real name though, she might be lying to you bro. That number she gave you is probably a fake too, so. You know, heads up, just don't want to see you hurt, man. Alright, so we pop these off. I pull them off from each and every finger. I'm sure there's a faster way, but I have not found it. And, so yeah, there you go, the gloves are back off, and they're comfy. They got this little thing, I actually got mediums. When you first get your pair of mediums, if you do wear medium gloves like I do, they're going to be a bit tight, but they do stretch, and you'll fit into them. And, uh, ooh, designed to the USA, made in Vietnam. Um, yeah, we don't... Talk about Vietnam too much. The war wasn't too, uh, wasn't really a happy time for everyone. But you can actually loop one of those through the other, and you can put them on your little clippy boy here. And there you go. You got your gloves ready for whenever you might need them next in your fancy fanny pack that you're not using for anything intelligent, other than to say, "Hey, I have a fanny pack." And is that gonna go away? I think I might permanently have a squirrely sweat mark on my shirt. And that's probably not a good thing. So that's all I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, always wear protection. Stay safe out there. Cheers.